you know, obviously Wonder Woman is so confident and she's so cool. In the film, you even make dining alone pretty cool. What would <laughs> what would your friends say is the most uncool thing about you? About me? Yeah. That I'm a, a nerd. Quirky. That I always, I, I never let go. Like I have to, I'm a control freak. That's That's not cool. I got to tell you, though, we talked about that. I met you on Batman v Superman, and that was what you said your flaw was. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a blessing. And a curse. So <laughs> really? Don't knock yourself Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate thing. that. Is there like a time period that you really would love to explore as Wonder Woman, maybe in one of the upcoming films? If we do another Wonder Woman, it should be present day. Okay. In reality, what equipment or power do you hope to have, like Diana? Uh, and I would like to have a lasso of truth. That would be awesome to just like, you know, having random people and ask them like funny questions and have them say the truth. And if you do, what do you want your superpowers to be? I want to be a flower man. I want to be able to shoot flowers, roses or like sunflower or like, you know, hydrangea. You know what I mean? Or just like bougainvillea, you know, just flowers everywhere. What is like a teaching, a sentiment, wisdom that you hope you're able to instill within your own children? That there's no shortcuts and there's no easy ways. Sometimes I, I see, you know, kids or teenagers that all they want to do is to be famous. But that's really like, it's, it's nonsense. You just gotta work hard. That's there's no secret. Yeah, I guess you're in the project. You're, you're Wonder Woman, and, you, and it's uh, your day job. You like it's uh, work, work, work. But have you ever step out of it and say, "Jesus, I'm Wonder Woman"? Because she's a pop culture icon like this. Um, have you ever step out of it and think of, of that? It happens to me uh, rarely. It <laughs> happens to me usually when I get to see footage, when I when I watch the movie or when I see posters, or when I see a short video. It never happens to me while I'm in the character. Um, <laughs> when you see, oh my God, I'm Which probably is a good thing, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, retrospectively it happens, yeah. So after smashing the ceiling in 2017, you're back to reprise your role as Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. And you're also serving as a producer. Can you talk a little bit about what it was like this time around on set and also how you balanced your producing responsibilities? Um, yes. So, you know, in the first one, I got to say that I, I was overwhelmed with the fact that I'm going to shoot a movie that is going to be entirely around my, I'm going to play the title of the movie, right? So I always felt like the little girl looking at the Kilimanjaro mountain and thinking, oh my God, how am I going to climb all the way up? But then um, as much as, you know, it was, it was, it took a lot of work and everything, but I, I realized that this is something possible and that I can do it. And especially having partners like Patty Jenkins and Chuck Roven and our amazing cast. Uh, on the second one, I felt like I had a totally different um, um, experience. Um, first of all, being a producer, you're involved from you know A to Z, from casting new characters to building the new story to footprint and of where we're, which location we're gonna be shooting in. There's so much, there's like an entire new world you discover about movie making, which is super, super fascinating for me. Um, and I gotta say that, you know, in a way, uh, the fact that both Petty and I are super close and super in this together and, and, and we talk about everything as it is, it was like, that, that was the, the uh, you know, we were always on the same page and the produ producerial part of it was, was super um, educating and, and fascinating. And especially when you work with people like Chuck Roven, who's like the mayor of all producers uh, ever, the best producer I ever got to work with. Um, you learn so much and the process was delightful because this movie was so ambitious and so challenging that there's so many things um, that, I, that I now know that I would have ever learned unless I was a producer on this movie.
not comfortable at all. <laughs> but it never is. It's never like I wear neither of the costumes that I wear are is comfortable. But it's you know. But when you see the way it looks, it's totally worth it. Oh, the dream come true. Um, yeah, it was. It was. I'm yeah. so happy to get it. Yeah. I mentioned a decade in the '80s. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, the music, the music. I think it's so distinct when you hear uh, 80s music. And I also love it. Like this morning, uh, I got ready hair and makeup and we were listening to an 80s playlist. Oh, best. look at you. All right. What, what would you say is one of your favorite songs from the 80s? So many. I love Purple Rain. I, I grew up ad adoring and admiring Madonna. So some of her songs for sure there too. But there are just so many of them. So much of this film is about be careful what you wish for. That's a big part of this. Is there a wish that you had growing up that did not come true and you're thrilled it didn't come true? Uh, I guess so, because I wanted to be different things in different period, pre period of times. I wanted to be uh, a choreographer and then I wanted to be a lawyer and I started to study law and then the acting came to the play, to place. Uh, so I would say a lawyer. And I, it's funny because also the reason to why I wanted to be a lawyer, one of the reasons was because I loved the show Ally McBill. Yes. I was like, it's so chic and they go to court and that, and that, and that. So thank <laughs> God it didn't work out this way. And their clothes were cool. I, I mean, you I I'd hire you as an attorney, just FYI, if you decide I to go back. It. I'm here to serve. Um, now, the film, there's actually quite a fair point of saying, hey, be careful what you wish for. But I still want to ask you, after this crazy 2020, uh, what's kind of your biggest wish for the next year and maybe also like acting wise? I'm only going to wish for all of us for 2021 to be a year filled with health and happiness for all yeah i Amen. think that's that yeah that's the best wish you can hope for thank you so much gal and uh, stay healthy and uh, safe and of course good luck with the film thank you so much thank yeah. you you too thank you